want to vlog. I ordered some new toothbrushes and Q-tips from The Humble Co. I bought my last bamboo toothbrushes from Brush With Bamboo. Really wanted to try out The Humble Co. because I've seen them on social and they're really accessible because you can find them through Amazon. So take that how you will. I got caught in swabs because it's been months since we've had Q-tips. Usually Nick's parents will gift us Q-tips for Christmas. It's just like a gift that they give us. And we've asked them to stop gifting us those like single use type of gifts. Um, and so we went through our big plastic tub of Q-tips months ago. And so I was like, that's it. I don't want to buy any Q-tips. They're not necessary. We can kind of make a makeshift Q-tip or get the reusable silicone one. But the reusable silicone one, the last swab, it just has mixed reviews and I can't justify the price for just one little cotton swab because I needed to do more than just clean my ear. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing because if all you do with a Q-tip is just clean your ear, then this works. I just needed a Q-tip for other things. Like I can't dip this <laughs> into a acne spot treatment. It just doesn't work. I need something like this. So I'm going to show you my little makeshift Q-tip. All you need is a bobby pin with one square of your toilet paper. Ours is the Who Gives a Crap uh, recycled paper, toilet paper. I have a discount code in the description bar if you want to check them out. You fold it over your bobby pin. You fold over like this, right? So your, so your bobby pin doesn't like come out. And then you begin twirling it in. And this is your makeshift q-tip okay so it does work you can get in here and clean your ear you know do the thing and then you basically just take it off refold it on a new area and you keep you know cleaning whatever you need to clean it's just a makeshift q-tip but it works but again i i can't dip this concoction into a pimple spot treatment type of thing i don't know what they look like i've never opened them oh that's kind of annoying okay so i thought that they all I thought that this came with just the Q-tips like package free, like just how you get like a big box of Q-tip. So this is an overuse of, of boxes. That's kind of annoying. Okay, so I'll just, I'm going to reach out to them just to make sure that I can compost this packaging. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere on the description that this is printed with soy ink. So I should be okay to compost all this packaging once I need to and that way I don't have to let this paper go to landfill or even have the need to recycle it. I got the adult medium bristle. Care and disposal, please keep handle dry after usage. The handle is made of 100% biodegradable bamboo and can be disposed of in your composting bin. It will return to soil after a couple of months. The bristles are made of ni nylon 6 and should be recycled with plastics. We re recommend to use pliers to remo remove the bristles or simply cut off the head of the brush. Okay, so this is the exact same process that I have to do with my brush with bamboo toothbrushes. The reason why I like these though is that they're actually all different colors. So Nick and I can just pick a color and we'll know which toothbrush is ours. Right now, our brush with bamboo ones are just regular like white bristles like this. So we've had to like put rubber bands on them or like write our name on them or just something to keep them like separate. Um, now we have little like separate toothbrush holders, but in our other apartment, we just had like one regular like cup where we just kept our toothbrushes. So in the spirit of telling you about new things, I don't know if you've gone to Target recently, but there's a new brand on in Target called Hey Humans. And I bought the toothpaste because toothpaste comes in aluminum packaging, which is super exciting. Um, prior to that, we were getting David's toothpaste, which also comes in the aluminum packaging, but it's so expensive and it also doesn't have any fluoride. And when we, our last visit to the dentist, our dentist was really like, hey, you guys really need to get some fluoride back in your oral hygiene routine. And we were like, okay, fine. So we don't have enough fluoride in our water anyway. So we do need to get it from our toothpaste. So when I saw the Hey Human one was more affordable than the Davids, but still came in recyclable aluminum packaging and the, the plastic cap is plastic waste i figured that i would try that one i still haven't opened it it's still sitting in a box because we're finishing through our native toothpaste because i did want to try that that has fluoride so we probably have like half of that one left and then we'll try the hey humans one but what i wanted to tell you is that i know that hey humans was co-founded by jada pinkett smith which i think is so cool i wanted to show you their website because 
they have natural deodorant which is fine i have my feelings on natural deodorant i'll actually share a post right here where you can read more about how i feel about natural deo but i want to try it because again really accessible really affordable and i can compost the packaging and then it comes in like a paper tube so i can you know use up the deodorant compost the paper tube and then be done with it so it's very similar to my current deodorant situation now which is the ethic like square thing that i've had for like two years at this point i love that deodorant but it is 13 dollars, so it can get pricey for some people this one is 56 grams for five dollars which means you know even if nick gets his own deodorant and i get my own deodorant we pay five dollars for like 112 grams we'll be saving money versus buying 175 gram for 13 dollars so i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna get the same scent that my ethique bar is which is a lavender vanilla and then they have like other more manly woody scents that i think nick should try and we'll kind of see how we like those i have tried native deodorant i didn't like it at all it did not work for me i was super sweaty super stinky i've tried schmitz schmitz gave me a horrible horrible allergy it was to the point where i had a bunch of like hives and i could not put my arms down for a long time i think like all day i couldn't put my arms down i don't use natural deodorant because i'm scared of aluminum if my favorite aluminum based deodorant came in a compostable packaging i would buy that but i um like supporting ethique as a zero waste company and if hey humans i you know i like their mission and their philosophy so if this deodorant works for me and they're also kind of similar in the sense that i can compost the packaging into a completely zero waste product once it leaves my hands and it goes into the compost pile, then I might just continue to buy this one. Oh, hey, okay, I wasn't even recording. Hi, happy Monday. It's Monday for me, what day is it for you? Let me know when you're watching this in the comments. Today's a school day for me and it's typically online Monday and Tuesday. My teacher had the fabulous idea of making today a field trip day because last time that we were in school, I had asked her if we were ever gonna get access before getting our license, if we were gonna have access to like a student license number so that we can go to a professional store and get different things. For example, I'm looking for lash and brow tinting kits. So I'm trying to find cruelty free brands. That way when I go into the store, I kind of have a handful of brands to look at and see what they offer in store. That's what we're doing today. Also, is my hair cute or is my hair cute? I usually dry my hair when I, my hair was long. I would do like the twisting and I would just let it air like that. It was actually, it was, it was super cute. I loved it. It turned out really, really cute. And then obviously I'm adding some of the 10 in one leave-in treatment from Avon NYC. And I added some of the texture spray so far. So good. I really like it. The only thing that I noticed is that obviously I couldn't twist the bottom middle section of my hair. So I do have some pieces that are a little bit straighter than I would like them to be. But I don't really care. It's just hair. It'll be fine. But I think it turned out super, super cute. What do you think? Let me know. Don't be too harsh. Don't be too harsh. I'm testing out different hairstyles. Okay. 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 So that was pretty much a bust. We went to two stores. We went to Cosmo Pro and we went to Salon Centric. I found the brand, which EA, but they literally only had the color blue and the color red. I am not gonna be tinting my brows blue or red. The first store actually had some eco-conscious brands. There was like a whole little wall of like clean, quote unquote, clean brands. Clean to me does not mean what you think it means as far as ingredients. Clean to me is more so on ingredient sourcing, supply chain, environmental impact. That's what I think about, which really is not clean. I think we should rename that to just sustainable beauty and just like sustainability in cosmetics. That's really more so what I look for. Our ingredients are not dirty, okay? They're not. Chemists are not out here trying to kill us. But it was nice to see, you know, a small little section in a professional store that had, you know, brands that were using PCR plastics or carbon neutral packaging, you know, fully recyclable materials, you know, not trying to mix and match different um, plastic types to make the product unrecyclable. So that was nice. They did have some nice hair products and nice hair brands that I like from Ulta. They had Verb, uh, a beauty concept, ABC. Obviously I could have gotten a bunch of that stuff, wholesale price, but I don't need anything. I don't. I'm home and I'm home alone. Nick's not here. I'm gonna go pick him up from his parents' house in a little bit. But before I do that, I'm gonna make a matcha. I really 
like this matcha brand. It's called Aya or Aya. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it's one of the only matcha brands that I've been able to find that the packaging is completely plastic free and there is no plastic bag insert. Typically you find matcha in like a little box and then with like a little bag insert, but this one's completely plastic free and 100% recyclable. So I really like this brand. From what I know for matcha, if you know more, please let me know in the comments. But from what I know, ceremonial grade is typically more for teas and I typically drink matcha in a latte form. I have a video that is quite popular on my channel where I showed you how I make a matcha without a whisk. If you wanna see that video, I'll have it linked up here. Good morning, happy Thursday. No, it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, Nick has been so kind this morning, he has gone to get the car gas so I can go to school as well as dropping off some a package for, um, from my Depop shop. Here's my Depop shop if you want to shop some secondhand clothes. Um, and so I figured I would get a little oatmeal going, I would make him a little coffee. So let's, let's see if I can do this. Usually he's the coffee master, but today I'm going to try to make the coffee for him. Baby, I'm trying to make you coffee, but I don't know where the coffee. Where's the milk thing? Why are you hiding it from me, huh? Oh, it is in the fridge. Why is it in the fridge? Because there was a little bit of milk in there, then. Well, well, now that you're here, you can make the coffee. What? A little jellyfish for you. And here's a little. Tower for me. I hope that you enjoyed my amateur latte art there this morning. I'm not gonna lie, did have a second coffee when I got home from school. And I just took a shower. I'm getting ready to go to church for rehearsal. And I wanted to just quickly uh, talk about a couple of skincare products that I have been loving for my acne prone skin. Now, the first product I wanted to tell you, this is the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser from Crave Beauty. This brand is an Asian woman owned brand. The founder's name is Leah Yu. She's a YouTuber and CEO, overall girl boss. And it's amazing. It's so nice. The consistency is like, really nice and jelly i don't want to waste it <laughs> my skin doesn't really feel tired or anything like that when i use it it feels oh i just put cleanser it feels quite nice and there's there's almost even like a subtle glow even though i don't have any product on my skin right now and like through the acne it's still my face still has like that nice glow i am not oily at all whatsoever i actually tend to be quite more dry dehydrated so i'm acne prone condition and then skin type is more dry, normal to dry, dehydrated. The next product is new brand to me. This is Rosen Skincare, which you can find at Target. I have two products, but the first thing I fell in love with was this Tropics toner. So good. It's really, really lightweight. This is the toner. It's so good. This toner is really amazing because there's no frills or no fuss about it. You've got Pineapple fruit extract, which helps as like a very mild exfoliant. Um, there's kojic acid. There is papaya powder in here, hyaluronic acid. So the kojic acid is a really good brightening agent. It's a tyrosinase inhibitor, which is, you know, it targets that overproduction of melanin in the skin, which obviously for me, I want to make sure I get rid of that excess mel melanin in my skin so I can have more of an even skin tone. But I love it because this is not tingle. At all it's very mild very suitable for every day so i've really been loving this using this morning and night and yesterday i got the earth mask and this is funny because at school i was like looking at like um, acne home care and i was like oh okay yeah like reading through it highlighting things and then it was like oh like an, a clay mask is beneficial twice a week and i was like yeah that's true i'm gonna go buy one because i've been looking at one <laughs> so this is the one that i went out to get and the one thing that i was scared about is that this has eucalyptus oil and i was 
pretty much freaking out because a lot of people think that fragrance is going to kill them but I'm more scared of essential oils because essential oils tend to be more photosensitive they tend to have a bigger uh, chance of irritating if they're not used properly when I opened this though it smells super strong like it smells like Vicks I put it on thinking that my face was going to burn and I actually didn't feel it at all um, it was actually really really nice it didn't I didn't let it dry this tells you to let it dry out and then wash your face I didn't do that I probably left it on for like eight minutes and then I noticed some patches getting dry so that's when I hopped up in the shower washed my face and when I took this off and I came out to do my skincare oh my gosh the glow on my skin was amazing so I think that it really helped to get this big guy to come to the surface but yeah I'm gonna be using this Tuesdays and Thursdays so I'll keep you posted on how this works for just my overall skin if it tones down the redness helps with the acne, et cetera, et cetera. Then the last product I wanna share is an eye cream. And I'm not an eye cream person. I think eye cream is a big marketing scam. If you look at the ingredients of your moisturizer and your eye cream, they tend to be pretty much the exact same. But, there's a but. Um, this is very inexpensive, okay? So if you want an eye cream for the step, if you wanna you know, target a particular concern under the eye that your moisturizer cannot do under the eye, then sure, get an eye cream, but don't spend an arm and a leg for an eye cream. So this is the one that I just got. It's from Coco Kind, which I love Coco Kind. Here's a nice little swatch of that. I was using the Inculus Caffeine Eye Cream, and I can tell you right now, this is way better, only because I used it at night, the first night that I got it, and when I woke up, I could see that it was, my under eyes were much more firm. I have little folds and lines under my eyes. They're never gonna go away, that's just, those are just my eyes. But, when I woke up, this area was much more plump and firm and not super wrinkly when I woke up. And the only thing that did different that night was using this. The reason I like using an eye cream separately is for the sole purpose of being able to use my reusable eye patches. And the founder of this, her name is Priscilla, Priscilla Tai. And this is an Asian woman-owned brand. So I will leave all these products linked below. Super nice, nice eye cream. Good morning, it's Saturday. It's been a couple of days since I picked up the camera. Last time you saw me, I was in the bathroom telling you about some skincare that I was loving, but I also needed to finish off this vlog talking about some skincare because um, you don't know this on YouTube, but Instagram knows I have been on my different retinoid for a month and like a week or so for treating and maintaining my acne. And Per Dr. Dre's suggestion on how to use different and tackle it and make your own little epiduo, I have also incorporated uh, benzoyl peroxide, which is what I used last year to completely treat my acne. And so I've been using them together three times a week and I thought it would be a really good idea to see how my skin can handle using this combo five days a week. And so I did every single night last week and yesterday my skin was raw, like, I, it took me a couple days to get to a point where I was like, oh girl, you overdid it. I knew it was raw because I pulled out all of my calming, like soothing uh, skincare products and everything burned. So I was like, something's going on here. So I need, really need to give a shout out to Cray Beauty's Gray Barrier Relief because this is Skin Barrier Repairing Serum Godsend magical bottle right here. And so, as you can see, the redness has completely subsidized a lot. And when I wet my face this morning, it did not burn. So I think we are getting back to normal and I'm going to go back down to using this three times a week because it's working just fine for me and I do not need to go five times a week. But yeah, I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here for this week. I feel like I've shared so much information with you. Um, I'm gonna leave everything that I've talked about, hopefully I remember, I'm gonna leave it all linked below so you can check it out and see if anything is up to your standards or that you wanna try out or just some sustainable goodies you wanna look into. And yeah, I think that's it for this week. Um, I will see you next week. Please like and subscribe.